हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट सेवन ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन आर टी एल डिजाइन इट इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प वीडियो एंड नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग माई टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्ट इट friends you are seeing a module on your screen it has two inputs in underscore vector is the input vector and op underscore vector is the output both the input and output are of 8 bits the definition of this module is very simple you simply have to reverse the sequence of bits in in underscore vector and you have to assign it to op underscore vector for simplicity i have written all the assign statements op underscore vector bit zero should be equal to seventh bit of input underscore vector. Similarly, op underscore vector bit number one should be equal to sixth bit of input vector, and so on. And the seventh bit of op underscore vector should be equal to input vector bit number zero. For this eight bits, it looks fine, but the input and output vector can be of thirty two bits or of sixty four bits. then in that case it is very difficult to write 32 lines or 64 lines just for this assignment statements now you have to tell me the simplest possible solution instead of writing these assign statements friends if you know its answer please write it down in the comment section so that we can discuss it there otherwise let me explain its answer friends on your screen i am showing you one of the possible implementation here you have to tell me is it correct implementation or is there something wrong in this let me tell you what is it here what i am doing i am inverting the order of in underscore vector instead of writing 7 down to 0 i am writing 0 up to 7 and assigning it to op underscore vector which is our requirement if you know that whether it is correct or not please write it down in the comment section otherwise let me tell you this is a wrong implementation we cannot invert the order of vector like this if we have declared it as 7 down to 0 we cannot use it as 0 up to 7 so this is a wrong implementation now i will tell you the correct implementation friends now i am going to show you one of the valid implementation here is a module definition it will remain same input and output vectors will remain same each of 8 bits in this implementation i am using generate with for loop for your information friends we can replace n number of assign statements with a single generate statement with for loop and this is what i am doing here so what i am doing because here we have a vector of 8 bits so i am using a for loop which will have gen var as i and it will go from 0 to less than 8 and for each iteration of this for loop i will increment by 1 that means i will go from 0 to 7 and each time it will increment by 1 that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and here we simply need to use single assign statement firstly i will be 0 so output vector 0 will be equal to input vector 7 minus 0 that means input vector 7 which is our requirement output vector 0 should be equal to input vector 7 similarly let us say when i will be equal to 7 output vector 7 will be equal to input vector 7 minus 7 that means input vector 0 output vector 7 will be equal to input vector 0 which is again correct so this is one of the possible implementation now the very next question is the interviewer will say you don't have to use generate statement but yes you can use for loop why i ask this question because many of us are confused that in the synthesizable design we cannot use for loop that is not the case we can use for loop in the synthesizable design but the actual concept is we should always avoid combination loops in our design and combination loops are different i have created a separate video on combination loops i will give its link in the description section as well as in the i bar you can go through it then every concept will be clear but now let me explain you how this module works the module definition 
that is input and output remains same. Now we have to declare an teaser i is equal to 0 and now I am defining all as block which is a combination block and in the sensitivity list here I put star but you can put input underscore vector also. Now let us come inside this block here I have declared a for loop inside this for loop i variable will go from 0 to 7 and for each iteration of for loop i will be incremented by 1. Output vector i will be equal to input vector 7 minus i. Now let us see how this loop will behave. Firstly i will be equal to 0. So output vector 0 will be equal to input vector 7 minus 0 which is 7 which is our requirement. Now let us say when i is equal to 7 output vector 7 will be equal to input vector 7 minus 7 that is input vector 0 which is again correct. So each time there is a variation there is a change on the input underscore vector always block will be executed and the required assignments will happen automatically. Friends I have created a small test bench to verify the functionality of our module and this is the instantiation of our module where I am fixing this input vector to the value 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 and corresponding to it we will get op underscore vector which is an output of our module. Now let us see the simulation waveforms. In the simulation waveforms it is quite clear that when input is fixed to 1, output is getting fixed to 1 7 zeros. In input vector the data is 7 zeros 1 and in the output vector it is 1 followed by 7 zeros which is our expectation. Friends with this I am going to end this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And to get the notification of all the upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.